also all day today. Expect to hear, Happy Pi Day! It's March 14th. 314, if you're abbreviating, much to the delight of pie makers and mathematicians, sometimes both. Amanda Manship is the regional director for Sylvan Learning. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so 3.14, never ending but crucially important number when you <laughs> figure out anything about a circle or a sphere or a cylinder, round stuff. It's a, it's a really cool learning opportunity if you decide to seize it today. It is, yeah. So I've just brought some kind of activities and ideas of what you could do at home today. Um, the first, of course, being you could bake a pie, right? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so that's the that's most fun That's always, part. Uh, you know, any day of the year is fine, but on this day, then you at least have the excuse for it, right? Right, yes, yeah. So you could bake a pie. Um, you could also, you know, depending on kind of age of children, right? right? You could go, I mean, it's a great activity. Go grab some, you know, some circles around the house, mm -hmm. right? So grab a Frisbee especially with the weather, the nice weather this week. Uh, basketball, you know, we've got some examples here. Um, have them trace it. Um, you could even have, maybe have your little ones go do that and your older ones then actually work on what is, you know, what is this idea of pi, right? Yeah. Actually doing the, the fractions and the division. So you could have them, your kids work together to kind of do that activity. Um, outside of that, we've got this great chain, okay? So um, I've got an example here, right? A pie day chain. Right. So. You pick your color, right? So purple is maybe for three. Sure. Your pink is one. Um, and who can make make it a competition? Who can make the longest chain, right? So. So um, give each color a different number, a different. all the way to nine. You won't need ten. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it you could make it forever if you yes, wanted to. Yeah. You can make this endless <laughs> chain, right? They can put it up in their rooms. <laughs> uh, English teachers though may celebrate as well because you've come up with a way to make sort of yes, sentence lessons out yes, of this. Yes. Yes. I, I love the English side of things. So um, down there at the end, I've kind of got some ideas of what you could do, but. You could do a sentence challenge, okay? Mm -hmm. So, again, so, you know, three letters in the first word, one letter, then four. So that's an option, right? And, again, who can make the longest sentence you could do? Right. Um, for little kids, who can make the silliest sentence? That can be fun, right? So it doesn't have to be necessarily make sense. It can be silly. <laughs> um, or you can do a haiku, which is my favorite. Haiku. Um, so instead of the traditional haiku, um, you could do haiku, right? So three syllables, one syllable, four syllable. Um, you can also do some art. So the yeah. last option there is just, you know, do some circular art. Make, get some stickers. Um, some of this, hopefully, you've got some of this on hand at home. That was the idea, right? Just grab some supplies you've got at home. Make it fun. So, so, so initially it was, oh, I've got a funny pun. It's kind of like uh, May the 4th in Star Wars, and oh, it's pie day. We asked uh, somebody who, who makes pies for a living earlier. She goes, no, it actually does. It's built into this thing where it builds awareness for what we do. Do you yeah. find that with learning? Because pie oh, yeah. is such a cool but very interesting thing. I mean, the concept of a number that is part of everything yes. but never ends. It's just... Yeah, and you can do so much with it, right? And like even what you saw here, you can do math, you can do language, mm -hmm. you can do... Uh, you could probably do a philosophy lesson on, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> on this endless number. If a number never means. ends, is it a number, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, so, no, I love it. And I think it's a great day to, of course, yes, an excuse for pie, right? Well, right. But, uh, or for eating pie. But, yeah, you can learn so much for it. So, what is this one under the, under the crust, That's by the way? That's an apple pie. Ah, oh, so. she knows her way to daybreak's heart. <laughs> Amanda Manship, thank you very much for yes. being with us today. Thanks for having me.